for you all over, and Claudia said you might be here. Well, it was a very slow day at the clinic, so I came I'm down sorry. to Joy Rose. Hello. 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 How are you? You I'm look fine. Wonderful. You look good. Your stuff is nice and clean. Sure, why not? I don't want to be my fourth cup today. This is counting. Well, you all talk. We got the call. I beg your pardon, we got what call? From Mr. Fransky, the social worker. Oh, in the yeah, place, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the judge wants to see us today. Today? Uh, just like that? Yeah, well, if we can make it. I, Mr. Fransky said that it was going to take some time. Yes, it well, might, evidently uh, the judge had a hole in her or a, a opening or whatever you call it in her calendar, and she's going to fill it with us. You suppose uh, they're going to make a decision today? I don't know, and Mr. Fransky said there is no way to predict that. Hmm. Wh when is this meeting? It's today. In what an time? hour, so that doesn't give us very much time to prepare. For what? Well, you know, what we're going to say. Well, see, we know what we're going to say. We love Mike. We love him with all our heart, and he loves us, and we're going to give him a great environment to grow up in. You make it sound so easy. Don't be nervous. 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 If I say that often enough, maybe I can stop shaking. Leslie, it's an open and shut case. Leslie, please trust me. There's nothing to worry about. Oh, sure, nothing but courts and judges and lawyers and all that legal talk and everything. And I'll tell you frankly, the whole thing scares me to death. Why? Because there's always the chance that she won't let us adopt him. They wouldn't do that. But she might. She doesn't know us. And who knows what the social worker said to her. And I'm going to tell you something. This is an absolute... I mean, this is a warning. If she even starts to tell us that we can't have Mike, I tell You'll you something... You'll punch her in the eye. How about that, right? Huh? Right? You'll punch her right in the eye. That reminds me of the Jack story. What? You ever heard the Jack story? There's this guy out in the desert, right? He has a flat tire, and he's in the middle of nowhere. So he gets out, he goes around, he starts to jack his car, but there's no Jack. Well, I saw a gas station about five miles back. I'll walk him, and they'll loan me a Jack, right? So he starts walking. But as he starts walking, he begins to think, what, what if they don't lend me that Jack? And he gets mad. I mean, he really gets mad. By the time he gets to the gas station, he walks in, he grabs the station attendant, and he hits him right in the eye, and he says, you don't lend me your Jack, and I'll hit you in the other eye. The Jack story. You never heard that before? Not quite like that. Terrible. Point. I promise you, I will not hit the judge in the eye. Okay, that's the point. Rose, um, uh, uh, Rose, I had something to... Oh, yes, if, if Amy and uh, Mike show up here, would you tell them that we're at the courthouse, please? Of course, you They're coming? I didn't know. Yeah, well, Amy's working only a half day, so if she was going to pick up Mike, and they were going to meet us here for lunch. Did uh, Sir Fransky say anything about uh, having Mike testify? No, see, that's one of the things that worries me. I mean, maybe we're not even going to get that far. I mean, maybe Leslie, she's just calling us in today. Leslie, I'm sorry. Leslie, okay, thank you. There are just a lot of factors here. I mean, you have to think about this. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, maybe this is a person who simply does not like doctors. You know what I mean? Or she doesn't like women. To, oh, no, she would. She's a woman. But what if she doesn't like people who who have been married to each other and got Leslie, divorced? She's a little unstable there and then got married. Zipper your mouth and take your tea. Finish it. Thank Do you, you think I should call Laura? I thought they were in New York. Well, they are, but they're getting back today. We'll call them later and give them the specifics after it's over. So who's been watching the yacht while they've been away? Oh, Robert and Tiffany, naturally. Who else? Of course. Hi. Mm -hmm. It's cold out there? Uh, hey. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it is. Uh, Rick and Leslie here yet? Uh, no, as a matter of fact, we just missed them. They said they had to skip lunch with you today because they have to go to the courthouse for a meeting. What kind of a meeting? Should they do something bad? No, they're meeting with the judge about you. You mean my adoption? Mm-hmm. Looks that way. How come I'm not there? Doesn't the judge want to talk to me? Well, don't you remember you already talked to that lady? Oh, yeah, Mr. Sapple, what's her name? That's the same one. And you answered all those questions, and then she made a report to the judge. Oh. I don't know. He's been in a great mood all morning. Hey, Mike, uh, how would you like, like, a double cheeseburger and a really thick chocolate shake to go with it? Sure. Uh, I made some cherry pie. You want some of that for dessert? Yeah, yeah, great. Please don't get up. I'm Judge Heller. Hello, how do you do? Nice Your to meet Honor. both of you. Pleasure. Please be seated. Thank, Thank you. you. As you know, this is an informal proceeding. Bless you. Bless you. Oh. Thank you. This cold weather we've been having. 
I've been trying to catch a cold for a month now, and it finally hit me last night. Taking plenty of vitamin C? In massive doses. It doesn't seem to work. The worst thing about a cold is it makes me so cranky. But it doesn't affect my decision making, which, as you know, why we are all here. I want you to know that I have reviewed your petition to adopt uh, Michael Phelan, and I've read with great interest Ms. Safransky's report on the social conditions surrounding the boy. And I must say, I'm very impressed. Thank you, Your Honor. Oh, the, the, the... let me finish. Taking into consideration the fact that both the father and the mother of the boy in question are deceased, and that both of you are highly respected professionals that have shown a great deal of love and affection and a desire to bring this boy into your home as your own son, I think that at this time... It... <laughs> Bless you. Uh, <coughs> please excuse me. <clears throat> of course. I would say that Oh, dear. What was I? At the bottom line, you were just about to make a judgment. Oh, but of course. My decision. I have decided to grant you your adoption request. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Your Honor. But I haven't finished. I... <laughs> just a second, Dr. Weber. I haven't finished. I... I am going to grant the adoption on the condition that I'd be allowed to meet the boy and determine his feelings. Yes, oh, of course, yeah, uh, yes. Would you like to see him today, right away? <laughs> yes, uh, this afternoon, um, 2.15? Well, yes, but uh, yes. we'll get he'll you. he'll be there, uh, we'll be here, we'll oh, all okay. be here. Okay, yeah. all right. Of course. Well, I want you to know I'll keep my distance because we certainly don't want him to catch my cold. No. Oh, he's tough as nails. <laughs> well, that's good. I look forward to meeting him. And it certainly was very nice meeting the both of you. Oh, well, it was very nice meeting you. I can you. see that the child will be entering a home of love. Your Honor, I... Uh, you have given us the most beautiful day. I'm very happy. Because right now, I'm expected in chambers, and I'm going to ruin a burglar. <laughs> I'll see you at 2.15. Here you go, your favorite, double cheeses. Well, that ought to cheer my little brother up. Hey, look, if you're not hungry, you don't have to eat it. I can fix you another one later. Oh, that's okay, I'll eat it. Hey, Mike, this looks serious. I'm just worried about this judge lady. I wish I was there. Honey, I keep telling you, it's really going to be all right. But what if it doesn't? What if Dr. Rick and Dr. Lissy have to throw me out? Hey, that's not going to happen. You bet that is not going to happen, young man. Not in a million years, mm -hmm. that's not going to happen. Well, uh, what's happening? Is everything okay? Just about. However, the judge would like to see Mike in person. Would you like to skip the rest of the day of your school? Yeah, but why does the judge want to see me? Well, uh, she wants to ask you how you feel about us. And, uh and becoming our son. But I already told that lady how I feel. I know, Mike. But the judge would like to hear it out of your mouth. Your very own words. Listen, you guys hungry? I'm starving. I'm so hungry. Okay, what can I get you? How about uh, one of those great cheeseburgers on whole wheat? Oh, no, I'll have one of the tuna fish. Okay, you got it. You want some tea? Yeah, okay. Fine. A little herb tea okay. for me. Thanks, Rose. Like it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, don't I know you from somewhere? I've been in before. Oh, yeah. Coffee black, right? As black as you've got it. Okay, you got it. You don't live down here, do you? I just visit occasionally. I travel back and forth from New York. You look like you're from there. Really? How can you tell? Oh, no, there's just something about a New Yorker. I can sense it. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, sure. Since you got the pot out already, Rosie, you can pour me a cup. Hey, too. Ray, how's it going out there? Okay, cold. Yeah. I just dropped Luke and Laura off at their boat. They're back in town. Oh, great. My thermos, too, will you? You got it. When does the judge want to see me? 
Did you want to see me? Give us a week to lunch. Well, I'm already done. Done? Tell me one bite out of that hangar bird. Well, I'm not that hungry. You know, I remember when Jeremy was worried about getting adopted, and he felt just like you did, because he was afraid Anne wouldn't be able to adopt him because she was single. Right, and she did, and look how beautifully that worked out. Sorry I'm late. Well, you must be Michael. Yes, ma'am, but everyone calls me Mike. And so will I. Mike, would you come over here, please? Oh, sure. Bless, Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Please be seated. Now, Mike, don't get too close. I want you to tell me, in your very own words, why you'd like for these two folks to be your parents. Dr. Rick and Dr. Leslie. Yes. I want you to feel free to say whatever you want. Well... They're the greatest parents that Kate could have. They're, they're really the greatest. You, you can ask Amy or Laura or anybody who knows them. They're great, all right. Yes, I've already determined that they're great. But I want you to tell me why you would like for them to be your parents. Well, when my grandmother died, Dr. Rick really understood. He made me see how to be strong, and that it was okay to cry, too. And uh, I never knew my real parents. I guess they were okay. They, they weren't around like these guys were. So, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that I love them a lot. That's good. That's very good. I can see that you're a young man that knows what he wants. Yes, ma'am. I want to be a Weber. Well, then you leave me no choice but to declare your... your Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. <coughs> so sorry. <clears throat> you leave me no choice but to declare your legal name, Michael Weber, the legal son of Richard and Leslie Weber. Oh, right! Thank <laughs> you.